News 3 this morning. So hovercrafts, they're not just in movies and TV shows, right? They're a crucial part of our Navy. And they're located right here in Virginia Beach. News 3 anchor and problem solver Erin Miller joining us now with more on their mission. Anchor, problem solver and Erin, you're also a sailor for a day. Listen, I got a lot going on. Um, as I promised, I've spent some time with the military and I promised all month long we're going to have a couple stories a week and that continues this morning as well. So I'm going to be taking you to JEB Little Creek for its story in Virginia Beach. We'll head out on the water as I explain what an LCAC is and its most recent impact on our Marines and country. Welcome to the future. I mean, it's a 90 foot hovercraft. You know, it's nothing like I've ever seen before. Like nothing you've ever seen. Everybody ready? It's a landing craft air cushion. LCAC, as those in the Navy call it. Because we push about a million cubic inches of air a minute down into that bag. In the blink of an eye, causing the craft to hover about two to four inches above ground. As a navigator, I plan the mission. ETC James Weber, who navigates the LCAC, tells me what it's like when that happens. When we come on cushion, like I was saying, when you get thrown up in the air, that is such a weightless feeling. Which is shocking, considering when it's fully loaded with people, weapon systems, and equipment, the LCAC weighs more than 180 tons. That's some 360,000 pounds. We can take 60 tons, throw it on deck, and we throw it seven feet in the air like it's nothing, and then we cruise at 35. From land to sea in a sweeping motion, I was given the opportunity to ride in the control center while this was happening. It was unlike anything I've ever done before. When the craft master isn't flying around curious journalists, they along with the four other crew members are transporting critical items for the Marine Air Ground Task Force. And we were part of the Afghanistan pullout, so all the Marine equipment that was on the ship, we ended up bringing that to shore to help them assist with that pullout. Like how unique is this experience to be able to be here and, and, and come on here? Um, so it's very unique. If you think about in the Hampton Roads area, um, I'm one of, we'll say, 50 navigators in this area that are qualified to do my job. Weber says training includes two schools, seven to eight months of training, and then live flights. We get trusted with so much responsibility. The captain says, yeah, you're good to take this multi-million dollar craft and go fly it out on that bay or go fly across the world. Because once we leave that well deck, it's only us five. Reinforcing the importance of trust with your fellow sailors and the amphibious equipment. It's surreal because you gain a real respect for flying these things. It was so cool. ETC Weber, by the way, is from Chesapeake and graduated from Hickory High School. Shout out Miles Anderson. If you are interested in learning more about LCACs and what might be required to join the team, head to WTKR.com.